Welcome everyone to German Tour Views. Today we have the Vera Craftform Compact W1 Maintenance Tool Set with part number 135926. I actually heard about this set from an electrician in the UK who said that this was their go-to set for doing simple residential electrical jobs. The interesting thing about this set is that it is listed in the catalog as quote, product not available in the USA and Canada, end quote. It is not just this set that is listed this way. Actually, all of the Craftform Compact user-specific sets have this note, including the H1 Woodcraft, M1 Metal, and SH1 Plum Kit. I believe the reason for this is because each of these kits includes the 247 voltage tester, which is really the only Vera product that is marked with this in the catalog. I'll get into a bit why this particular product would be pretty useless in certain parts of the world. You can find this set for sale on Amazon and other places if you really feel the urge to get one, with the understanding that one of these tools would not be very useful. Now there are quite a bit of tools included with this set, and I'm not going to go into great detail or give a detailed review on each one at this time. Instead, this review will be an overview of what is included with the set and my initial impressions of each. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. The unit is packaged in a soft textile case and is secured with a hook and loop fastener. The pictograms on the outside of the case are supposed to represent the diverse nature of what you can use this set for. It is the first time I've seen a washing machine on a tool set. Opening it up, you can see a pretty good job was done in optimizing the available space with the tools laid out across all four inside surfaces of the case. There was this piece of soft foam, which I assume is just to prevent things from coming out during shipping. So the items included with this set are the 247 voltage testing screwdriver, a Joker double open-ended wrench 10 by 13 the 8000A Zyklop quarter inch speed ratchet, 8794 75mm extension, the 817VDE craft form blade holding handle, 1440 screw griver, 893-4-1K universal bit holder, and then we have a series of quarter inch bits included, which includes a posi drive number 1, number 2, Torx T25, and a 3, 4, 5, and 6 hex bit. Then we have the 8784A1 Zyklop bit adapter, and then we have a series of quarter inch drive sockets from the 8790 series from 5.5 to 13, excluding the 9mm. And then finally we have a bunch of these Craftform Compact VDE blades, including four slotted, a Torx T10 through T25, Phillips number one, number two, and a Posi drive number one, number two. If you actually add up the MSRP of each of these individual tools in this set, it comes out to $396.88. And that does not include the textile case or 247 voltage tester. If you shop around, you can usually find this set for around $200. So you basically get all these tools at half price when you buy them in a set like this. Like I mentioned before, I'm not really going to do a detailed review on each one of these, but let's go ahead and go over the set and point out some of the features that each of these components have. First up is the 247 voltage tester. This tool is the reason I believe that this set is not normally sold in 120 volt countries. As indicated on the shaft, it is only rated for 150 to 250 volt single phase. It uses the metal cap on the end and your body to form the circuit to light a neon light. I did try it on 120 volts and it does barely light up the neon light in the handle. Therefore, as a voltage tester, it is pretty useless, but still good as a small screwdriver. There's one joker wrench that was included with this set. This is actually one of only two sizes that is available in the double open-ended style, with all the remainder joker sizes available only in combination ratcheting form. The speed ratchet included seemed a bit stiff from the other various speed ratchets I own. I added a couple of drops of oil, but didn't really seem to help. I suspect the screws were tightened a bit too much, not a big deal, but since these have thread locker on them, probably not worth to try to adjust them until I need to replace the mechanism. One odd thing is that they included two quarter inch bit holders with this set. You have the 893-4-1 shown on the left here, and the 8794A1 on the right. The 893 unit is designed to be used in power tools, but does not appear to be impact rated. The 8794 is really a quarter inch square drive to quarter inch hex adapter, that is to be used with the included speed ratchet. The only thing in the set that the 893 unit can be used with is the 8794 holder. I suppose this could be used in tight clearance situations, but I believe the 893 unit was only designed to be used with a power drill driver. The sockets in the set are from Vera's standard 8790 series. These are the upgraded versions that contain the color-coded bands. One tool I really haven't run into is this 1440 screw holder. These are designed to slip onto a screwdriver to allow the fastener to be held in place when starting a screw. The main body is an elastic type material, with the end holder being a hard plastic. Vera makes three sizes of this tool, so you would select one based on the screwdriver's shaft diameter. The KK60 portions of this set include the 817 handle and 12 blades. The 817 handle has a collar that can be retracted to insert and remove one of the blades. 
I don't usually use a lot of insulated tools because most of the time I'm working on 24 or 28 volt DC systems. But they're always nice to have when you're working with anything high voltage. These have a little bit of play in them even when they are locked, so I'll have to see how I like them after using them for a bit. I have noticed a couple of tool manufacturers have their own multi-blade VDE system, and that looks like it would be a good candidate for another showdown in the future. There is a pretty good selection of tip styles here with the posi drive Phillips slotted and Torx. You would probably still need a square or Robinson drive to complete your set if you were an electrician. One feature that most of these blades have is the insulated part is molded into a step in the shaft to provide a nearly seamless transition between the tip and the insulated portion. Onto the actual case itself. The socket holders are purely friction fit and are not the newer twist style locks that they have come out with recently. The VDE blades are held in with some elastic loops and feel quite secure. Some are a bit tighter than others due to some differences in the shaft diameters, but they all fit very nicely. A couple of the compartments use more of a netting material. This includes the A17 handle, speed ratchet, and joker wrench. I think this was mostly just to tell what was in each of these compartments. The only tool that felt a bit loose was the joker wrench, so I would expect this to fall out if you tip the case when it's open. The foam piece that was in there when I first opened it doesn't appear to be necessary to keep everything in place. I gave the unit a bit of a shake and everything seemed quite secure. Also provided with the case is a strip of velcro with an adhesive back so that it can be mounted or secured. It is also compatible with the Veritigo system where it can be mounted on the outside of the Veritigo 2 unit. It also kind of fits in the Veritigo 3 pouch, but I don't think it was designed to be stored in one of those, nor would it make much sense to do so. Well hopefully you enjoyed that look at the Vera W1 maintenance tool set. Like I said before, I hope to do a much more detailed review on a couple of these items as I get to use them a bit more. Check out the link in the description of the four of you. Also some affiliate links in the description if you feel the urge to pick this unit up. Have a good week and I'll catch you guys next time.